everyone, this is Tori from Tori's Teacher's Tips, and um, I wanted to show you real quick how to group objects together. Um, you might use this when you are uh, making a worksheet with several of the same objects, um, or creating a title that you want on multiple pages, um, or for example, today I want to show you um, how I could make a quick um, birthday certificate to pass out to my students. So um, I'm starting off with a basic rectangular object. And um, I'm just going to keep it pretty simple right now. Um, but obviously you could uh, jazz it up a bit if you wanted to. And um, I'm going to add a text box. And, and I'm just going to keep it pretty simple. Um, and then I'm just going to add make that a little bit bigger and I'm just going to add one more thing just so you can see how to group three items together. So now I have a piece of clip art inside of my box as well. So now I want to take my box, my font, my text box here and my clip art and I want to make them one object. So I'm going to left click away from uh, all the things I want grouped together and it creates this blue box and I want to make sure that blue box is entirely surrounding all of the things I want grouped together. And then once I release it highlights all three of my things um, so I know I have everything I need and then I'm going to pick one of the three objects. I usually just pick the frame around everything and I'm going to right click and it brings down um, this menu where I can click on the word group. So now you can see um, it's completely framed around all the things that I want grouped together. Now if I want to make a quick worksheet I can right click and copy and I can paste and you want to make sure when you do paste that you're grabbing um, the entire object and not just one piece of it because it will um, ungroup itself. And so I can um, create a layout of my items and it just makes a real nice, quick, and easy way to make a page um, of one particular object. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful to you and um, you learned a tip or two. Thanks.